Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, solar forcing, a hilarious word from our sponsors, at least it will be for many of you, and some catastrophism science to close. So as the plasma leaps for the stars and crashes back down on the North Polar Crown, let's see the last 24 hours on our star and find a lack of solar flares, quiet solar wind and geomagnetic conditions, and a lack of eruptive activity. The sunspots are not only departing, but they are in a bit of decay at the moment. The Earth-directed eruption threat is waning by the hour for both those reasons. We've got two excellent solar forcing papers here to start with the long-term control of the monsoon. The hundredth time we've seen this study repeated, but this is one of the longest-running confirmations going back thousands of years. We also have more in the instantaneous forcing effect, with simultaneous signatures of solar activity high in the upper reach and at the ground level. When the sun touches us, the whole world feels it, and quickly. Now a brief commercial break inspired by the latest news on human health, governmental corruption, and corporate greed. Today's morning news is brought to you by Nasorenti, keeping our DNA as we were born with it for as long as it takes. Thank you very much for your support. An excellent study here on the Younger Dryas and Heinrich event effects on the geophysical conditions, the major events on the 6,000-year cycle. But we have also made a fuss recently about the event 6,000 years ago. We call it the NOAA event, have several videos on the topic, and topping off the several lines of evidence we've seen thus far, we get several more in just this one paper. Not only shows the directional change or severe extremes of various indices during that event, but often shows them to match up with the Younger Dryas and previous Heinrich events in severity, confirming its similarity. Sometimes it shows up even more due to its temporal proximity in the record and having been during an interglacial. Now, there are several ways to see the NOAA event in the data, and this one doesn't even touch on the magnetic evidence we've shown before. By the way, the dating still struggles, but even this group who puts it a bit further back at the 8,000 years ago range is calling it a Heinrich event. First ones I've seen in the journals to actually do that. By the way, we've also got the fifth paper stating that the paleo poll data is completely hosed, including subjective exclusion of data points by individual researchers, which, by the way, is the only reason the world doesn't fully know the extent of the past poll shifts. Neither here nor there, I suppose, unless you're an observer. We greatly appreciate your support. Get our books on these topics. Watch our playlists. Book your one-on-one -on -one call with me. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.